welcome to this episode of What's Happening Wapaka. I am Joni Kern. We are talking today with Bill Pimple. We see you every year. Welcome yeah. back. Thank you. Pleasure to be back. Absolutely. We're talking about A Taste of Christmas mm -hmm. down at Spencer Lake. So that is coming up, you said, on December 3rd. Correct. Correct. Yep. From? 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock. It's a great time. You guys always have a lot of stuff going on. And we're going to talk about what you are sponsoring in a little bit. Sure. But we have to talk about um, what kinds of events and activities you've got going on there today. Besides kettle corn. <laughs> which we already talked about it and it made me hungry. Right on. Well, as you know, the Taste of Christmas is an annual event. We had 3,000 people come out last year. Fabulous. And there's something for everyone. All ages are taken into consideration. It's all the sights, the sounds, the taste of Christmas. We have everything from a Christmas karaoke tent to Santa's Yuletide workshop, children's story corner, horse wagon rides, indoor BB, Red Rider BB gun range. Um, we've got vendors for great gift ideas, we've got food, we've got music, we've got movie theater. So there's something, something out there for everyone to enjoy. So all of us that were there last year, do you have anything new this year? Well, we are pushing the Christmas karaoke tent a little stronger. So now that people are aware of it, we're hoping to see a lot more kind of entertainment value there. Um, we're going to see uh, fried cheese curds come in, so that'll be a new food item this year. Um, so Especially be... if it's a little chilly. Something yeah. warm is always good, and you guys have coffee and cocoa and all of that kind of stuff. Absolutely. There's lots of food there. Yeah. What do you What do you close the day with? Because you always have a special ceremony at closing time. Right. At 4.30, we gather into the main auditorium, and we do some Christmas medleys, you know, traditional Christmas carols, some fun medley. Then we'll do a candlelight reading of the Christmas story. So all the lights go out, the candles come on. Um, and then we, during that time, the live nativity comes in. And then we read that Christmas story. And then we kind of close it out and cross the street and light up 150 sky lanterns and welcome Christmas. Oh, what a so, fabulous. Yeah. That sounds like such a wonderful day. Great to bring all of the family, the kids, the grandkids, yeah. whatever you've got, come on over and have some fun. Now, you are sponsoring um, the food pantry again yep. this year. Mm -hmm. You're sponsoring school supplies right. at the Wapaka Schools. Mm -hmm. You are also sponsoring Arrive Alive. Correct. And I want to talk about this because this is one of those um, topics that's of great interest to me, which is texting while driving. So tell me about what that program entails. Okay. Well, Arrive Alive is a driving simulator program that actually uses an actual vehicle with software hooked up to it with virtual reality goggles and a cell phone. And the kids can actually, this is geared at the high school. Um, and what they'll be able to do is drive the vehicle with the software on and then they will be asked to start texting and then the computer will record all their movements and potential accidents that they would have encountered. Now, that's got to be perfectly safe because everyone I know who says they text while they're driving say it does not affect their driving at all and they're just as good a driver. Well, they say for teens, 70% of the accidents that teens are in are texting related. One in four accidents nationwide is texting related, and 11 teens die daily from texting related accidents. In this country? In the country, yeah. So in the United States, 11 teens every single day, mm -hmm. which is 4,000 a year, give or take a few numbers, 4,000 teenagers are dead because they're texting while they're driving. Right. That's a frightening number, isn't it? It absolutely, especially when you think about around Wapaka, we've got a lot of two lane roads. There's not much forgiveness coming around a curve when That's you're reading true. a text. So what got you interested in doing that particular sponsorship? Well, I just started thinking a couple months ago about what can we do to take kind of another level of approach to supporting the community through the event. And, you know, it, thought about, we do the blood drive, the gift of life blood drive. And so along that lines, I'm thinking about what, what other gift of life can we do? And it just kind of hit me. I wonder if there's a texting simulator out there. And sure enough, there is. And we're going to go for it. So are you going to have one? 
at a taste of Christmas? We're hoping to. We're developing all of our sponsorships, and if we get enough sponsorships early, we're going to try to schedule that at the event and then also at the high school on the Friday before. So it would be the, if you get the sponsorships, mm -hmm. you have Friday the 2nd at the high school, Saturday the 3rd at a taste of Christmas. Correct. If you don't, when are you going to do it? Then we will do it in the spring because I think we'll be able to continue to raise funds throughout the event and into the spring to get it to the high school. And what a great way. And this is, you know, this is the money that is raised from your event, A Taste of Christmas, that does all of this Correct. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're helping the food pantry around Christmas, which is terrific. Yeah. And you're helping parents, I think, understand and teenagers as well understand the true dangers of texting while they're driving yes which yes. is also really important mm -hmm. so i get to come and i get to do a bunch of christmas shopping and i get to eat kettle corn and i get to have a terrific amount of fun and then we get to help the community besides absolutely yep it is a wonderful event, Bill. Thank you. Um, I have been there. It was terrific. It's, it's laid out very well. You do have truly things for absolutely everybody. So I encourage everyone to go Saturday, the 3rd of December. Mm -hmm. It's always the first Saturday of December. Correct. From 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yep. We'd love to see you there again. Cool. Thank you Thank so you. much for being with us today. And if I don't see you before, I'll see you next Christmas. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us for this episode of What's Happening Wapaka. We'll see you next time. <laughs>